In today's session, I'm going to talk about why is the diabetes is considered to be a major risk factor for the coronavirus disease that is COVID-19. Higher levels of plasma glucose and diabetes mellitus are known risk factors for the development of pneumonia. And the people with the diabetes with hospitalized COVID-19 patients are at a greater risk of worse prognosis and mortality. So here we have to discuss about what are the potentiating mechanisms that may increase the susceptibility of the COVID-19 in the patients with diabetes mellitus. One of the major factors will be in the patients of diabetes, there will be higher affinity cellular binding and efficient viral entry. So viral entry becomes much more easier in the diabetic individuals. And at the same time, viral clearance mechanisms will be low in the diabetes patients. Along with this, there will be diminished T-cell function. And at the same time, there will be an increased susceptibility to hyperinflammation and cytokine storm syndrome. So all these factors are responsible for the severity of COVID-19 in diabetes individuals. With all these factors, if the patients also have the cardiovascular disease like hypertension or any other cardiovascular conditions, then the risk is going to be much greater. So if you see the SARS coronavirus 2 is known to utilize the angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptors for the entry into the target cells. As you can see on the screen, the picture very clearly that the spike proteins of the SARS coronavirus 2 is sitting on the receptor which is known as ACE2 that is angiotensin converting enzyme 2. The patients who are suffering from diabetes mellitus especially who are on insulin dependent diabetes if they are taking insulin as a main treatment rather than other hypoglycemic agents the insulin administration attenuates ACE2 expression. What is the meaning of this statement? Whenever you directly administer the insulin in the diabetic individuals, ACE2 expression will become weaker, smaller or less effective. So that's the reason you have to know the statement that is insulin attenuates ACE2 expression. And some of the diabetic individuals might be taking hypoglycemic agents. So these hypoglycemic agents like glucagon-like peptide 1 agonist, classically called as GLP-1 agonists, and the examples like uh, thiazolidinediones. So these are the drugs upregulate ACE2. And the dipeptidyl peptide S4, commonly referred as DPP-4, is highly involved in the glucose and insulin metabolism as well as immune regulation. So what is this DPP-4? It is a protein was shown to be a functional receptor for the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus. It is one type of the coronavirus called as MERS coronavirus. And the protein modeling suggests it may play a vital role and a similar role in SARS coronavirus 2 is the virus which is responsible for the development of COVID-19. Meaning, this dipeptidyl peptide S4, that is DPP4, also has a role in potentiating the effects of COVID-19 in diabetic individuals. So some of the diabetic patients might be taking the drugs called as dipeptidyl peptide S4 inhibitors, commonly referred as gliptins. Example, citagliptin, soxagliptin, and linagliptin. So these are the drugs which inhibits DPP-4. And these indirectly increase the endogenous incretin effect by inhibiting DPP-4 and breaks down GLP-1. So therefore what happens is there will be increase in the insulin secretion and decrease in the glucagon secretion and there will be delayed gastric emptying. This is the mechanism of action 
of DPP4 inhibitors. And while studying about the mechanism, I have told about the incretin effect, right? Indirectly increases the incretin effect. That is what I said when I have explained about uh, the mechanism of action of these gliptins. So what exactly is this incretin? Even though it is out of the topic, but it is important for us to know what is the role of incretin here. Incretin is actually a digestive tract hormone that increases insulin secretion from the beta cells of the pancreas and decreases glucagon levels and slows gastric emptying in response to that of food intake. Remember this point. And there are two major incretins or glucagon-like peptide one called as GLP-1 and other one is glucose-dependent insulinotropic peptide called as GIP. So these two are the major incretins. Now after discussing all these points, the relationship between the diabetes, coronavirus infections, ACE2 and DPP4 has been explained by the recent studies and important clinical conclusions have been made and by these studies what we need to know is hospitalization is more common in acute COVID-19 among patients with diabetes and obesity because of all these factors. So let us discuss in more detail about this. In the presence of mild COVID-19, which means in an outpatient setting, usual glucose lowering therapies for the patients with diabetes could be continued if the patient eats and drinks adequately and a more frequent blood glucose monitoring regimen is implemented. But if the patients who are admitted to the hospital for the severe COVID-19 might need modification to their diabetic therapy, including withdrawing the ongoing treatments and initiating the insulin therapy. So this is what is very, very important. Each and every diabetic individuals need to know. Now, such a decision should be mainly based upon the severity of the COVID-19, nutritional status of the individual, actual glycemic control of the patient, and the risk of hypoglycemia, renal function of the patient, and the possible drug interactions. And based on all these things, the treatment decisions can be made by the physician who is treating the condition for you. Now, the important statement I want to tell after all the points we have discussed till now is, insulin treatment has been recommended in the patients with diabetes with severe COVID-19, but not DPP-4 inhibitors or GLP-1 receptor agonists in the patients with diabetes who are hospitalized with acute COVID-19. Which means any patients who are of uh, moderate severity or severe form of COVID-19, if the patients are diabetic, it is recommended for all these patients to use insulin rather than any other hypoglycemic agents. Therefore, if you are a diabetic patient who got infected by COVID-19 and if you are consuming this oral hypoglycemic drugs, then talk to your physician about the medicines you are using currently so that he will recommend alternative drugs or treatment options for you. And if you need to know more information about the diabetes and COVID-19, go to the description where I have placed various links from the recent articles and research papers. From there, you can learn much information related to the diabetes and COVID-19 severity.